All right, when do you get or should get an MRI on the knee? That is the question today. And this comes about because I had a conversation with a patient recently about this. So I kind of want to go over a couple scenarios where I would say it's okay to um, get an MRI, right, like right away. Um, and times where, and this is most likely what happens, where I think you probably should wait to get an MRI. So first off, um, one of the ways that I would say that you should just go ahead, get to your physician and, and see if you should get an MRI, and they probably would, is if you had a fairly significant accident or incident, right? So this would be, let's say you're playing soccer and you go to load, meaning you have pressure on the knee and twist and you hear like a very loud pop, instant pain, you go down, there's immediate pain and swelling, um, something like that where that's more indicative of a, a large ligament injury, uh, like a skiing accident where, yeah, you know, you just, you know, limbs, arms and limbs everywhere. Hopefully that doesn't happen to anybody, but I know it does. Um, where there's a significant amount of like pain, Swell, immediate swelling, um, instability, right? Like you can't put weight on the leg. Those are all things that you would get, uh, probably get an MRI. And it would probably still even be preceded by an X-ray, right? So that's another thing that a lot of people are a little confused about. It's like, hey, should I get an X-ray? Should I get an MRI? An X-ray mostly shows bone, right? That's, the, the, that's what the X-ray is looking for. So for a lot of things, and almost just the way the medical system works, they will always, um, they will always do an x-ray, no matter what, um, just to cover their bases. Um, but, and I tell people if like, if they're like, hey, I went out for a run and I started to get a little bit of knee pain, it's like, should I get an x-ray? The answer is no, right? Like you didn't break your bone, right? Um, now, if you're like, hey, I was going out for a trail run and I fell and I hit my knee or my leg or something on a rock, then that's like, okay, that could be broken, right? And then a lot of fractures are just obvious because, you know, it's obvious. There's, there's a deformity there. But, um, but yeah, so if there's, if there's a significant injury, right, significant incident that happens where your knee is really twisted or um, there's a lot of force behind it, you fall down the stairs, then, um, then you would typically just go to the physician anyway. They would do an x-ray to see if there's any broken bones. If there isn't, and they do some tests, they would then proceed to give you probably an MRI right away to see if there's any torn ligaments or what the damage is, right? So that's the first, uh, you know, the first area where I'd say, yeah, go ahead and get an MRI. The second one is an interesting one in that if there is a time crunch. So, I'll give, you, I'll give you a little scenario that happened here at our office. We had a woman who hurt her shoulder and felt like a pop, had a lot of pain, and this was about a week out from going on about a three-week backpacking trip overseas, something that she and her, uh, her family had planned for a long time. And so it's sort of like, okay, if there's... It, I mean, the shoulder hurt really bad because it was just after it happened. She had lost some mobility of the arm. It wasn't guaranteed that she, the thing that she did, it wasn't guaranteed that there was a significant damage there, but it could be. And it's a scenario where it's like, okay, if I significantly tore my rotator cuff, then I would probably need to get surgery sooner than later. And it would affect me being able to go on this trip because I wouldn't be able to lift my backpack and things like that. So that was a scenario, and this happens to be in the shoulder, but could be in the knee, where it's like, you know what, we need to know sooner than later. We don't really have time for a conservative treatment to see if this kind of works itself out, so go ahead and get the MRI. And um, as it turns out, she didn't have any damage. The shoulder did just slowly get better over that week's time, and she was able to go on the trip, and it was fine. So there are times, sometimes this is with athletes, right, if they're preparing for a big game, something happened, we're not sure, um, they need to play in this event coming up, or maybe it's just even a, an individual sport, right, where it's like, um, if things are torn and they try to play, then it was just going to get worse, so we need to know right away if it is. Um, so those are time crunches sometimes where there's people need to get an MRI. Um, another area is just, um, and this sort of goes in with a time crunch a little bit, is just what I call psychologically, you need to get an MRI. 
uh, a lot of people just want to know, right? They're just like, and, and usually this, this goes in with my last point of when getting conservative treatment fails, this is the last point I'm gonna make with this, but a lot of times people are just at a point where they're like, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm getting better. It seems to kind of go up and down. Like, I feel like I'm getting better than I'm not. And I'm just wondering if there's something in there. And I just need to know, like, I'm tired of this. I can't really deal with this anymore. It's affecting my life to the point where if there is something in there that needs to be worked on, I need to know because I need to start planning for that, if it involves surgery or what. Um, if it ends up being nothing, then I'm okay. At least I know I can kind of wait. And I get that, right? I mean, we all get there in life with different things where it's like, I just need more information I need to know. Even if it's like, even and there's times where I've told people where I'm like, I really don't think there's anything there. I understand you're frustrated with how things are going. And maybe it's not moving at the speed you would like. Uh, I don't think getting an MRI doesn't um, fix anything. It just gathers some more information and it probably won't change anything either as far as our treatment, but they just feel like they need to know. So then I'm like, you know what? For your mental health, if you need to know, go ahead and get an MRI. I'm okay with that. So um, sometimes that's a reason someone will get an MRI. Now the, um, the last reason, and this is the one I had the conversation with with a uh, patient, the one, this, is the con this is the one that I probably deal with the most, is people come in, um, they've aggravated their knee, right? And um, like say playing tennis or something like that. And their knee's swollen, it's painful, they're limping a little bit. And they're, and they're like, do I need to get an MRI? And so then of course I ask questions like, how did this happen, right? Was there a significant injury? Did you fall? Did you go to run up to the net and you felt pop and your knee immediately gave out, right? So there's a little bit of uh, history taking there for us to be able to figure out like exactly, you know, is this appropriate? But more than likely than not, they're, um, they're just like, no, I don't know. It just, it really hurt, but I don't think there was anything that, you know, there wasn't a significant incident there, right? So what's hard for people to understand is, is they're like, um, I need, don't you think I need an MRI because we need to know what the problem is specifically? And the answer to that is actually no. And what I mean by that, and this, this holds true for the knee especially, but even a lot of the other joints too, right, is at the end of the day, there's a multitude of things that could have caused your knee to hurt, right? Could be a little bit of a meniscus tear. There could just be some wear and tear that's been there for a long time because you're an active person and you just doing that one tennis match or that one run overloaded your knee a little bit. Um, you could have just sprained it. Like you can sprain your knee like you sprain your ankle. I even had a physician one time write down a prescription for what they called knee overload syndrome, right? Which I'm like, is that a diagnosis? But I mean, apparently this physician thought it was. This is an orthopedic surgeon, right? So it's just sort of like, we know the knee's not happy, but at the same time, we're not suspecting that there's a ligament tear in there. So if, when this is the case, the key is, but the key is we, you just continue with conservative treatment until conservative treatment fails, meaning like it wouldn't get better, that's when you would get an MRI. So a lot of times, and this is why like if, and so someone comes in, they're like, should I go to the orthopedic surgeon? Or they just call me and ask. It's like, no, cause they're just going to give you an X-ray, right? And it's like, do you suspect you have a broken bone? It's like, no, I didn't fall, there's no crack. Um, okay, then they'll give you an X-ray, but then the orthopedic surgeon will just send you to physical therapy anyway. Or it's like, aren't they gonna give me the MRI? It's like, no, they won't, because they know that the best outcome is for you to have conservative treatment fix the issue, right? And a lot of times it does. So the fourth reason that you might get an, uh, an MRI is if you come into this type of situation, you've had some, uh, you've had some pain, some swelling, some things to your knee, um, you're doing physical therapy or some other type of therapy, you're treating it, and it just doesn't improve at all. Every single time you try to do anything, it swells up, there's a ton of pain, and this may be over four to six weeks, right? Because it can sometimes take that long for the knee to respond. Um, but yeah, that's, 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 that would be the fourth area where you would say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get an MRI. But for most of the time, conservative treatment does work and it doesn't matter which one of the reasons why you're, um, having the knee pain. A lot of times the treatment doesn't really change. So it is human nature to say, Hey, I need to know exactly what it is. But from a treatment level, 
we don't really need to know exactly what it is from the get-go because there's a multiple different reasons of what it could be that could be causing these symptoms. We just treat it and get you better, which is what you want. And um, yeah, so that's, that's sort of what the outcome usually is. So there are, there's, um, hopefully you understand a little bit better some of the reasons why you would wanna get an MRI and reasons why you would not need to get an MRI on your knee. And um, if you have any questions about this, um, go ahead and you can comment below. I'll see if I can answer them when I have some time. But again, this is a common question a lot of people have, and hopefully this helps you to understand it a little bit better. We'll talk to you later.